Dan Karcher back here at Security Service Field. Our guest tonight on Sky Sox Warm Up, Sky Sox outfielder Ben Gez. And uh, Ben, welcome to the Springs. What do you think so far? Oh, it's great. Um, obviously, the weather can be uh, daunting at times, um, but I've really enjoyed my experience so far. Well, you guys really uh, busted out last night uh, to the tune of 16 runs on 21 hits. Uh, how did that feel? Uh, it felt great. You know, um, we've been kind of struggling to get a win um, in, in these first series, you know, uh, of the season, but, uh, but last night really felt good. And for you, uh, two hits of, of your own hit your second home run in as many games. Uh, what's made the difference for you of late? Uh, me, and, me and Scooby have been working pretty hard on my swing. I uh, wasn't really, you know, playing out the way I wanted it to the first couple games, and we made some adjustments, and uh, luckily I got some good pitches to hit the last couple nights and put some good swings on it. A lot of talent on this ball club, Ben, and um, kind of a mystery to us that uh, you guys haven't played better than you have to begin the season. Uh, what's your take on, on the uh, team right now? I think it's a mystery to us, too. You know, we really believe in the guys that we have in, in this clubhouse and on this team, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if we, you know, strung together eight, ten in a row. We got that type of talent, and um, I'm, I'm really confident in, in what we can do this year. Now, you, uh, you're a real asset to a ball club because you play all three outfield positions, but uh, you have your work cut out for you here in the Springs playing the outfield. You've had a little bit of a taste of it with the wind, the setting sun in left field and all that. What do you think so far? You know, a lot of people say if you can play, you know, play outfield in Arizona, you can play anywhere, but I think the correct statement is if you can play outfield here in Colorado Springs, you can play anywhere um, it's really tough out there. You know, you don't know exactly what the ball's going to do. The wind af affects the ball different ways at different times, and uh, sometimes it's blowing in, sometimes it's blowing out. Um, it can be a tough, tough task. And I've noticed that uh, you guys have been playing rather shallow as an outfield. Uh, what's the uh, thought process there? Well, when the, when the wind blows out here, the, when the ball gets up there, it's likely to be over your head. So I think the thought process, we're going to try to take away the hits um, in front of us, but... Um, you know, sometimes it'll work, you know, to our advantage and, you know, other times it won't. Mm -hmm. Offensively, uh, you have been a, a real patient hitter at the plate. Uh, you lead the league in walks uh, as we uh, as we talk right now. Have you always been that kind of hitter? Um, I have in the past. Um, a couple years ago, um, I, I've I've changed my approach since since the last year or two and um, really just trying to, you know, get a good pitch to hit and try not to swing it, swing at too many balls outside of the strike zone. Ben Gez, my guest, uh, Sky Sox outfielder here on Sky Sox Warm Up from Security Service Field. You're with a brand new organization after coming up with the Tigers. What's that been like for you so far? Um, honestly, it's been an incredible experience. Um, I was so pleased to have signed with the Brewers, and my ever since I, you know, stepped foot to Brewers camp in Maryville, um, I've just felt at home. Um, I haven't felt uh, this. This great, um, I guess you would say, um, being with this organization or being with another organization. So I'd have to say that this has just been an incredible experience, and I'm I'm real happy about it. Your first experience as a, as a free agent, uh, what led you to Milwaukee in the first place? Well, we were talking to several other teams, and um, it just seemed like a great fit. Um, me and my agent just kind of sat down, and this just seemed like a club that I would fit into well. Um, and it's that's been the case. Spent the last two seasons playing at AAA uh, for Toledo and the Tigers organization. How would you describe your time in the uh, Detroit system? Um, that's a tough question. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I, I really wish I got the opportunity uh, to play in the big leagues with the Tigers and uh, be something that I always wish I, I got to do. But that's just something that didn't play out for me. And I, you know, wish the Tigers and uh, that organization, you know, continued success. They've been a great ball club, but um, I'm a brewer now. Kind of a tough team to break into with all that talent up there in, in Detroit, huh? Yeah, you know, they go to the World Series every couple of years. It's, uh, you know, a tough team to break through. But, you know, I feel like um, I can help a big league team win, and, um, you know, I really wish I can get that chance with, with uh, Milwaukee. Ben Gez, our guest, just another question or two for the Sky Sox outfielder. Uh, you've had a, a good taste of the International League playing there at Toledo, a little taste of the Pacific Coast League. How would you compare the two uh, AAA leagues? Uh, well, I'd, I'd definitely have to say the PCL is a little bit more hitter-friendly. Um, <laughs> but, um, 
you know, there's there's good pitching all around, and um, I'd say the ballparks are uh, a little bit smaller here uh, as compared to uh, the International League. They seem to just play a little bit bigger there, but um, I haven't seen all the parks here yet, and I'm excited to see them. What about, dare I ask, the travel? <laughs> How would you compare the travel uh, between uh, the two leagues? Well, my division in, um, in Toledo was probably the best travel division uh, in baseball. We, we bust everywhere. It was at the most five and a half hours. Um, so definitely, definitely an adjustment to be made with the early wake-up calls and early flights. But, um, you know, we just got to take care of business. Yeah, no question. You were drafted by the Tigers out of the College of William and Mary. What was it like playing for the Tribe? Um, it was, uh, it was interesting. Um, you know, looking back, I, I enjoyed my time there. Um, I remember while I was there, you know, kind of wishing I had played at a really big school, kind of like a grass is greener on the other side thing. But, um, looking back now at this, at this point in time, I, I really enjoyed my time there. And, um, you know, I don't, I think I would have had that mindset no matter where I played. So I think everything kind of worked out for the best. Well, you also played for Israel in the qualification round for the World Baseball Classic. How would you describe that experience? Uh, It was incredible, and the reason I say that is because I got to play for Brad Osmus, Gabe Kapler, Mark Loretta. We had an incredible staff, um, and it was, you know, actually a you know short-lived but very great baseball experience in in my eyes, and um, it was something that I you know that I always remember. So when Brad became the manager of the Tigers, you kind of had uh, a relationship with him uh, already. Yes, um, I, I played with him. I think it was the year before he became the the Tigers manager, and um, you know, uh, a lot of the media outlets in Detroit were kind of asking my opinion as to you know what kind of guy he was, and they didn't need my opinion. He's obviously a um, you know his his whole demeanor and character speak for speak for itself. He's just a, a great baseball guy and a great guy. Um, you know, at that. So I wish him the best of luck. And a former Sky Sox, actually. So uh, he can uh, he can uh, be part of the club. Anyway, Ben, good having you here. Wish you all the best down the road. Thanks for the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That is Ben Guest, Sky Sox outfielder. More to come on Sky Sox warm up from Security Service Field right after this.